Hey everyone, in this video, I'm going to show you an example of guided discovery with question circling. But before we get started, here's a little joke for you. Two hats were walking across the desert. They stopped to have a chat. Hat number one said, I'm sorry, I don't think I can make it. Go on without me. Hat number two says, all right, I'll go on ahead. <laughs> Hey everyone, I wanted to show you an example of one of my favorite teaching techniques. It's called a guided discovery. And we do this guided discovery through what I call a question circling. The question circling really is a way of narrating a picture and then using questions to help students discover the language for themselves. Now, you can see a picture of a cheeseburger. Now here is how I might instruct students about this cheeseburger using a guided discovery technique. I might say something like this. Okay students, please look at the picture. It's a burger. Look at the burger. It has cheese. It's a cheeseburger. This cheeseburger is yummy. It's a yummy cheeseburger. This cheeseburger has ketchup. It's a yummy cheeseburger with ketchup. This burger is from McDonald's. It's a yummy cheeseburger with ketchup from McDonald's. Now you can see that each iteration of my narration builds upon new language and highlights something that I want them to understand and I want them to know. Because I'll go back through and now recycle that same language using questions. So once I finish the narration, I'll say, okay, students, one more time, look at the picture. And now, instead of telling them what it is, I simply ask them. I'll say, students, what is this? And the first response will usually be, it's a burger. And I'll ask them, is it a hamburger or a cheeseburger? And then they'll fill in the answer. Then I'll ask them, what kind of sauce is on this burger? And if they can't remember, I'll give them the options. I'll say, is it mayonnaise? Is it ketchup? Is it mustard? From there, I'll ask, where is this burger from? And they'll say, from McDonald's. And then I'll ask them to put all of that information together one more time. I'll say, students, what can you see in this picture? And if they tell me it's a cheeseburger from McDonald's, I simply prompt them with a follow-up question. What kind of sauce? Ketchup sauce. Or if they say it's a cheeseburger with ketchup, but they forget McDonald's, I'll just say, from where? McDonald's. It's a cheeseburger with ketchup from McDonald's. So that's just a brief little explanation of one of my favorite techniques and how I might use it in a classroom. I hope you use it in yours. Cheers. And as always, thanks for stopping by and see you again next time.